Hello, good day viewers. In our previous lesson, we are able to derive this very important formula which is used in solving quadratic equation of any kind, which is x equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And I told you this quadratic formula is very important in solving quadratic equations that you cannot factorize. For example, we have a quadratic equation here. Absolutely, you cannot factorize this because the leading coefficient is 2. If you multiply it with the constant term, which is 1, you will obtain 2. And there are no any two numbers which you can multiply together to get 2 and add them together to get 4. Hence, we say this quadratic equation cannot be factorized. I have already extracted my data. This is the general form of a quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. A is the leading coefficient, it corresponds to 2 here, so we have A to be equal to 2. The coefficient of the middle term, which is x, is 4 here, so we have B to be equal to 4. And constant is C, we have C to be equal to 1, so we have C equal to 1. So what we are going to do in order to solve this quadratic equation, we are going to substitute this data into this formula. So we have x, this is equal to minus B and b is equal to 4, plus or minus. But in the square root, we have b squared, which is 4 squared, minus. We have 4 as constant, multiplying a, and a is 2. Multiplying c, and c is 1. All divided by 2 times a, 2 times 2 x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus into square root of, this is 16, minus 4 times 2, 8, times 1 is still 8, divide by 2 times 2 is 4, x equal to minus 4 plus or minus into square root of 16 minus 8 is 8, divide by 4. It can be written as 4 times 2, so we have x equal to minus 4 plus or minus into 4 times 2. This is divided by 4. x equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 is 2, so we have 2 outside, but 2 remain in the square root, all divided by 4. You know, generally, a quadratic equation has two solutions. So we are going to break this down. Our first x1 will be equal to minus 4 plus 2 root 2 over 4. 2 can go here 2 times, 2 can go here, 2 times, 2 can go here 1 time. So we have x1 to be equal to minus 2 plus root 2 over 2. This is one of the solution we have. And the second one is um, x2, which is equal to minus two. Instead of plus, we use the other sign, which is negative. Now here is four, sorry. Minus two root two over four. Two can go here two times, two can go here two times, two can go here one time. So we will say x2 is now equal to negative two minus root 2 over 2. Has the two solutions for this quadratic equation are this x1 and this x2. To get your solution in decimal numbers, you can take the square root of 2, add it to negative 2, divide by 2, and do the same to this square root of 2, then this minus the square root of 2 divided by 2, you get your solution in decimal form. But I think this is in the standard form. Hence, we say this is a solution for this quadratic equation. And this is the only example I have for you. All other problems remain the same. Thank you for watching and do have a nice day.